All right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Ugh, one of my cats is sitting in the bedroom watching Asmongold on the Xbox. Fucking poggers. All right, let's play this video. So Don Lemon was recently confronted with some racist comments that he made towards white men. And he was then asked, why are you married to a white man? And it got me thinking, there are so many radical left-leaning activists out there that claim that white people cause all of their problems, that they are the oppressors, that they are this horrible force on society, yet they are dating and or married to white people. You know what they say? Activists in the streets? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Oh, you know what they say, activist in the streets, colonizer in the sheets. Let's talk about it. Colonize me, baby. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Guys, before we get into this video, please like and subscribe. This one's going to be an interesting message because I've been recognizing a pattern with these radical activists, That's a nice as I stress. said before. But before we get into recognizing that pattern and breaking it down, let's watch the most recent Don Lemon clip that led to this realization. So this, I mean, it's kind of an obnoxious Twitter handle, but it's End Wokeness. I tweeted something that said, the biggest threat to America is white men. And you said this was a long time ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then they put that right next to you and my husband with your husband <laughs> who happens to be a white man walking yeah. down some stairs and then it said like don lemon back in whatever year i'm was so glad is this a last question but it doesn't have to be but i'm glad that you asked me that question because it you know gives the opportunity to address it no it's not the opportunity <laughs> to address it it's well yes but it proves what i said about internet brain and dunking on people and um people wanting to sort of you know, have their own biases reconfirmed. Okay, before we let Don Lemon respond, let's roll the clip of him saying that white men are the biggest threat in this country. The biggest terror threat in this country is white men. Now, let's get back to it. What I said when we were talking in the context of, um, I think it was around the time that Christopher Ray was testifying in front of Congress around that time, mm -hmm. and we were talking about um, terrorism. And the biggest threat was not foreign terrorism, it was domestic terrorism. And that domestic terrorism is done by uh, radicalized right-wing males. Well, you said white men. I said white men, and I said mostly, mostly radicalized, radicalized to the right. To be fair, I haven't seen that clip before. And the clip that she did play, it sounded like there might have been more after it, but it was cut off before he could get there, so... I, I don't see any evidence to suggest that he's claiming all white men are. Insert opinion here. And then the FBI director said the exact same thing. So I don't understand why you don't, why people don't understand that. I don't get it. I didn't say all white men were the biggest terror threat. I suppose to a lot of people, now correct me if I'm wrong here, would say that if you flipped that the other way around, that that would be like... Like oh yeah speech, that would be this, that would oh be yeah no 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 if that were flipped around they would be all over it talking about white supremacy the kkk neo-nazis transphobic uh cis white men bullshit it would be that what do you say to well i don't know i think if, if 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 you mean if there were black men mm -hmm. if black men were creating the um you know were the biggest purveyors of domestic terrorism then Okay, that would be the facts. Those are facts. I don't understand why, especially I didn't hear, I, well, I do a little, but not as much. I don't hear white women getting upset about that. Mm -hmm. I don't hear uh, black women or black men. They all go, yeah, well, that's true. White guys get mad, but it's the truth. I thought that tweet was a little bit kind of- But like everybody gets mad. Kind of everybody yeah, is capable of like, again, whatever. It's a gotcha, but that one was a gotcha. I would agree that one was a gotcha. But again- Okay. Interesting. Well, now we have a biracial woman calling you out, Don Lemon, so I don't know what you make of that. I'm half white, half black, so maybe we strike both of those categories, and you're not, in fact, correct in saying that. Let's talk about the idea of a slam dunk moment, of course, which is what they're accusing this guy of doing on Twitter, and I can sort of see that. He posted the thing on the internet to sort of say, haha, Don Lemon, in your face, you made this statement, and here's how you truly live your life. But what was Don Lemon doing with the statement about white men being the biggest threat to the United States? Was he truly 
truly trying to give you an accurate statement and characterization of white people and the threat that white males pose? Or was he trying to make a racist and incendiary comment? And I have to double down on the question that was asked by this interviewer of what if you said that about any other race? What if I went ahead and tweeted out that black men pose the biggest threat to the United States or Jewish men pose the biggest threat to the United States? How do you think that would be perceived and received by other people who are reading that? not good. I think it would be seen as racist. So let's go ahead and label it what it is, Don Lemon. Which racism. Is racism. Yeah. You know. Yeah. The second you say something followed by skin color or is a result of skin color, it's racist. There's no such thing as anti-racism. Anti-racism is just not racism. That, that's it. It's not anti. You can't be anti-racist. You can just be not racist. Hey, I married a white guy because that's who I fell in love with. I did not say all white men were terrorists, but that's what that tweet is trying to get you to believe. That's what the criticism is. That's what happens in conservative media because they are what? They want to gin up fear and they want to demonize me. Hmm. They want to. De I, I can see where he's coming from. I, I would agree that that seemed to be uh, more of a, a baity kind of tweet. Um, but uh, I think he needs to take a little more responsibility in the words he used and maybe in the future try to construct his sentences a little, uh, uh, a little smarter, uh, less geared toward, uh, specific outcomes like if if you're gonna if you're gonna claim that it a majority of the domestic terrorism happening within the country are portrayed by uh, certain white men uh, then you should be a little more cautious about uh, pointing the blame because it it could be portrayed in a way that you didn't mean. And I think that's what, what happened. He didn't specify specifically, and so these slam dunkers got on board and tried to find a way to, like they said, dunk on him. Demonize me, one, because they think I'm on the left, two, because I was on CNN, and three, because it's easy to say, look at what this black guy is doing. Obviously, the racism is there because they're saying he married a, a white guy, and, you know, they want to do it because it's easy. I'm, I'm black, I'm gay, they think I'm liberal, and I was on CNN. Boom. More than a trifecta. Oh, wow. So now Don Lemon tries to pull the intersectional victim card by pulling out all the different statuses that he holds as a victim in this country. Being black, being gay, being, I guess, perceived to be on the left, even though we all know that Don... I don't think that's what he was trying to claim. I think he was pointing out that these are the reasons that these specific individuals are targeting him in the manner of which they are targeting him. I, I don't think that was him dropping uh, his victim cards. He was just pointing out facts that are opinions that he was recognizing. John Lemon is on the left, and he says they're trying to paint me out to be racist. In fact, it's quite the opposite, Don. What people are actually doing when they post this quote from you and the image of you and your husband getting married, they're pointing out the fact that you might not actually be a racist. You don't actually hate white people, and in fact, maybe you don't actually believe the things that you are saying out loud on TV. That's the criticism being levied to you. And instead of making that point and saying, you know, that's not truly how I feel about all white men. You have to defend the initial quote and go on to play the victim card about all of your other identities. And I get that it must be a struggle for Don Lemon. See, I didn't get that feeling. I didn't, I didn't get the impression that he was trying to uh, play a victim. I, I never got that opinion from what I've seen thus far. Is he defending his position? Yeah, I could... I definitely see that, but I don't think it's I I I fail to see the uh victim mentality coming out of what he has to say.
said that out loud, that he believes that white men are the biggest threat to the United States. He's also supported things like critical race theory, which across... Oh my God, critical race theory should not be taught in schools. All it teaches is white people should be ashamed of themselves and get out of the way. That That's all I see when I I see that fucking mentality. It's stupid. It doesn't have a position in school. Across the board labels white people as oppressors who are responsible for all black people's problems, and he went on to marry a white man. But you have to ask yourself, why is it that you fell in love with that white man? And what is it about his whiteness that you were able to ignore at the altar? Most of them. That's, I, d I don't, I don't know why it has, uh, let's not go down that rabbit hole. To the right. And we have to start doing something about them. There is no travel ban on them. There is no ban on, you know, they had the Muslim ban. There is no white guy ban. So we already got Don Lemon making these comments about white people married to a white man. What about AOC making these comments about white people married slash, I guess, engaged to a white man? Kamala Harris making these comments about white people married to a white man. Ilhan Omar making comments about white people married to a white man. Supreme Court Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson making comments about white people, supporting critical race theory, married to a white man. The list goes on and on and on, and oftentimes I'll see these videos of these woke individuals talking about how much they hate white people, how white people have been the bane of their existence, they've caused so much problems in their lives, they're responsible for all the ills that we face in society. You do a little bit of digging into their profile and find that they are dating white people. Here's an example. Okay. This isn't like full towards you. I just see a lot of comments like this and this was the most recent one, so I'm just responding to this one. When white people say like this, it isn't the serve they think it is. Like you're a part of the problem, fix your people, bro. Like when white people are like, I'm white. And she white seems suck. highly yeah, racist. You're probably a part of those said white people. So do something about it. The f also, I hate when white people try to validate me. Like they're literally like, I'm white, but I agree. Bro, I don't know if you notice, but I don't need validation from white people. Like that's the last thing I need in my life. Like I feel like white people always try, but they miss. Like... <laughs> And I feel bad for y'all. Not that bad, though, because your ancestors suck and you're stinky and evil. But bad enough where I want to call you out and tell you not to leave comments like this because it's crusty. Anyways, for all the bleach demons willing to learn, I see you. You're not as bad as the rest. All right. Your ancestors suck. You are stinky. And I believe she just referred to white people as bleach demons. But let's run the next clip of her boyfriend. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> BFFR. Look at this girl. She's on the beach, just cuffed up next to one of those so-called bleach demons with the sucky ancestors who stinks and they're kissing and hugging and cutting it up on the beach. What exactly is going on here? I'll let you guys marinate on that think about it Leave yeah it i've got comments. we have one more example i've got nothing to say about that lady she needs to be put on some Twitter. meds this and receive a formal so education the white population is decreasing the white british population has decreased by six hundred thousand, while the minority population has increased by 1.2 million so yes, lads, we're winning. Yes, lads, I guess we are winning because she gets to go and spout out all this racist garbage. <sighs> I kind of want to unravel that one. Why are you separating yourself from the white people? You're British, right? You are a citizen of that country. You are all British. There is no us versus them. There is a divide, and it's really irritating. Who gives a fuck what your skin color is? Are you a prick or are you not? Period. The end. And then come home to a white man who she's dating who apparently accepts that she is saying these things publicly Here's the photo and you know what guys? I'm truly trying to figure this out, but the math is not mathing 
why is it that time and time again I can find clips of these activists saying things that are so derogatory towards white people and then you come to find out that they are in a relationship with a white person. If they truly believe the things they're saying, is this some sort of evil, maniacal plan to breed whiteness out of the population? They're linking up with these white people to create a bunch more mixed babies? Uh, okay, fine. If we're going to separate from black and white, and then there are those individuals who are in between, you can't mix breed and then breed out a specific race because what you're doing is breeding out your race too because you're stuck with an entire country full of half and half. You've thus created a new race. Just because a white person and a black person have a baby, they had a black baby. No, they had a mixed baby. Why is it that we have to even identify with our skin color? That child isn't mixed. That child is fucking American. At least in this country, it would be American. Depending on where you're from, it's that country. Insert nationality here babies like me so whiteness no longer exists and i wish i had this clip but it is for some reason nowhere to be found on the internet there's this asian girl who says that her plan is to go around and get in relationships with as many white people as possible to breed them out of society and that she hopes that other people of color do the same so that whiteness at that point you're breeding your own race out too is done for. Now I have a feeling this is not some sort of hive mind master plan in all of the examples that we've shown to you today in this video, but still, I'm trying to figure it out. Is it that they've maybe found the white allies that exist within the population of white people and they found the good ones who truly care for people of color and are doing the right thing and that's why they fell in love? That sounds a little bit more reasonable than the first explanation, but I have a feeling that it's also not that. I think it's a third thing. And the third thing is that these people truly do not believe what they're saying. They go home to white people that they manage to fall in love with because white people are not all bad. They do not signify the oppression that we all face in our life. They are not responsible for all of the world's problem. They are not the biggest threat to this country. They are not bleach demons who have sucky ancestors and stink. They're in fact normal people and race is one of the least significant factors in all of our lives and that's why you've managed to find a relationship with a white person who you love and you'll still go out and say these things about white people do your little racist rant because that is part of the accepted narrative of today and if you're going to be racist towards a group of people it better be white people because that's the only group you're allowed to be racist towards there's a sort of cognitive dissonance being displayed here that truly needs to be addressed and why while it's fun and sort of funny to hear these statements from these people and find out that they are in fact in a relationship with a white person, it's more interesting than it is funny. And we should ask ourselves why this is the case. And again, I think it's my third hypothesis that if you can say these things about white people and then go on to date one, you probably don't believe the things you're saying, at least not fully. And instead of doubling down on your racist comments, maybe you should do some internal investigation as to how you managed to find yourself in your current relationship. How has the love that you have for this person transcended the racial narrative that you are continuing to spout online and in public? And if you can manage to find love for the white person you're in a relationship with, why can't you manage to find that love for other white people? But guys, I would love to hear your thoughts on this subject matter. 